Thanks to the NZ Comedy Trust for putting this on. This is the biggest night of the comedy calendar. Yeah. Shit, yes. I, oh, let's get to know you a little bit more. I, I'm in a relationship, people in a relationship, make some noise. Yeah. Can we get some noise from the single people in the room? Make some noise. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like just women and then this guy. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Artem. Artem, are you on the, are you on the apps, Artem? He's teaching you how to do it. Okay, thank you, Sensei. Um, <laughs> I, I hated going on the dating apps because I'd been on all these terrible dates and I had to work out an escape plan, right? And single people in the room can use this escape plan if you like. What you do, if you're ever on a date with someone and during the date you realize that they're quite boring, right? What you do is you just slowly inch your seat away. If you're like sat at a restaurant or something, just slowly inch your seat away, inch by inch, very, very slowly, <laughs> until you're back home again. <laughs> it's, I call it real life ghosting. Like, do you all know what ghosting is? It's, it's bad, <laughs> one girl, <laughs> all too well. <laughs> I've been ghosted quite a few times, and I think it's quite funny anytime someone ghosts me, to report that person as a missing person. <laughs> so, I last saw him on Friday and we went to Holy Moly. <laughs> now I'm really worried. It's one of those new dating terms. I've heard of a couple more. Like there's, there's another dating term I looked up. I was looking them up one day and I saw another dating term called benching. Has anyone heard of benching before? Okay, a couple yeses, but it's, what it is, is what people do is they're chatting to two different people. Say like I'm chatting to two different guys, but I like one way more than the other one. What you do is you still kind of occasionally text the other one as like a backup. <laughs> like he's on the bench. <laughs> and he's like, put me in coach. And you're like, no, only if this guy gets injured. <laughs> but I love these dating terms to the point now where I've started making my own up. I've come up with a couple dating terms. I want to share them with you. You can spread them around. Maybe they can become a thing, right? The first thing I've thought of, this first dating term is called canarying. Right? That's when you want to hook up with someone, but you're not sure. So you send your friend in to have sex with them first? <laughs> you know, like a canary down the coal mine situation. <laughs> they come back, they got chlamydia, you're like, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> you're riddled. Uh, the other one I've thought of, it's called hot spotting, okay? That's when you, you have a few hookups, right? You, and every time you go back to someone new's house, you ask for the Wi-Fi password. <laughs> and suddenly, if you've had enough hookups, you kind of have an entire Wi-Fi network <laughs> <laughs> across the city. You're just like, <laughs> Later season of succession, ready to go. <laughs> I, I'm just quickly aware now that my parents are in the room. <laughs> I'm not a slut um, anymore. <laughs> no, I do love my family. Does anyone got a family? <laughs> Three of you, this is... It's orphan night at the Civic. <laughs> I don't have any kids, but I've got a couple of nieces and nephews. My niece, she's, she's just become a bit of a narc, you know? <laughs> like, she goes to school now, and she's been telling on her friends that she goes to school with, to me, about swearing. 
She'll come up to me and she'll be like, Auntie Mel, someone at school said the C word. And I'm like, okay, but also I think kids swearing's quite funny. <laughs> so I was like, what's the C word? She said crap, I was like, damn it. <laughs> Don't waste my time. <laughs> it's <laughs> you idiot. Uh, Then like a whole week passed, she did the same thing. She came up to me, she was like, Auntie Mel, someone at school said the G word. I was like, genuinely, what is the G word? <laughs> she leaned in real close, just whispered in my ear. She just went, fuck. <laughs> Not the smartest girl in the world. I was like, it's you idiot. No. 